The badge looks good on you. Almost as good as it looked on me. Bit of a come down from Chamber of the Hand. Then I don't suppose you need much room. Grand Maester Pycelle made the same joke. You must be proud to be as funny as a man whose balls brush his knees. Your new friends, the Tyrells, are plotting to marry Sansa Stark to Sir Loras. Very well. She's a lovely girl. Missing some of Loras's favorite bits, but I'm sure they'll make do. I hear that you're a pervert. I am the imp. I have certain standards to maintain. <laughs> I don't know her name. Oh, Roz, the redhead? How do you know her? I try to know as many people as I can. Never know which one you'll need. She's a whore. Yes, well, we shouldn't be judgmental about these things. You fucked her. Oh, please. All right, yes, I fucked her once. Twice. Your wife needs a child, a Lannister child, as soon as possible. And? If you're going to give her one, you need to perform. What did you once call me? A drunken little lust-filled beast. More than once. There you have it. Nothing to worry about. Drinking and lust. No man can match me in these things. I am the god of jits and wine. They were happy enough to take it when I gave it to them. What did you tell them? I didn't tell them anything. What did you do to them? Lots of things. And they seem to like these things? Yes, my lord. Of course they seem to like it. They're paid to seem to like it. Only they weren't paid. What are you saying? These ladies enjoyed him so much they gave him the time for free. Is that what you're telling us? Sit down, Podrick. <clears throat> We're going to need details. Copious details. Ladies, attend to my uncle. He's not heavy. There will be no bedding ceremony. There will be if I command it. Then you'll be fucking your own bride with a wooden cock. Intimate, lovely table. Better chairs than the old small council chamber. Conveniently close to your own quarters. I like it. I sent you here to advise the king. I gave you real power and authority. You chose to spend your days, as you always have, bedding harlots and drinking with thieves. Occasionally, I drank with the harlots. You can't mean it. I can, and I do. Joffrey has made this poor girl's life miserable since the day he took her father's head. Now she's finally free of him, and you give her to me? That's cruel, even for you. Do you intend on mistreating her? The girl's happiness is not my concern, nor should it be yours. She's a child! How to begin? This is awkward. But it is my wedding night. My tiny drunk cock and I have a job to do. Come, wife. I vomited on a girl once in the middle of the act, not proud of it. But 
I think honesty is important between a man and wife. Don't you agree? Come, I'll tell you all about it. Put you in the mood. It's not easy being drunk all the time. Everyone would do it if it were easy. The king is tired. See him to his chambers. Come along. I'm not tired. We have so much to celebrate. A wedding to plan. You must rest. Grand Maester, perhaps some essence of nightshade to help him sleep. I'm not tired! sent the most powerful man in Westeros to bed without his supper. I hope I will not disappoint you, my lord. No, don't. You don't have to speak to me as a prisoner anymore. You won't be a prisoner after today. You'll be my wife. I suppose that's a different kind of prison. She is no longer yours to torment. Everyone is mine to torment. You do well to remember that, you little monster. Oh, I'm a monster. Perhaps you should speak to me more softly then. Monsters are dangerous, and just now kings are dying like flies. Sunset. 